<laughs> Why y'all get <laughs> What's up everybody? <laughs> What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, look at these giant wild shrimp. That's Abram over there. He's got the giggles about something. I ain't quite sure what. We're probably going to get to the bottom of it in a minute. It's Sunday night. Jake's got school tomorrow. Luke's at his mom's house and Abram's here staying with us. He actually does homeschooling. We're doing this video a little bit out of order. I'm going to get the food cooking because the kids do got to get to bed soon. Then I'm going to show you how we caught them. And we're going to talk about Dr. Squatch Soap, which is the sponsor of this video. This stuff is legit. Like all of you guys are wanting us to start deer hunting and doing more hog hunting videos. We attempted to do it this weekend yeah. and that's part of why he's laughing. <laughs> but in Florida, it's 114 degrees right now. It was super hot. We got a new camp that we're going to and it was dirty. So we were cleaning up and we ended up not doing much hunting. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Dr. Squatch soap in a minute. And you might think it's just a normal soap, but when I start telling you about it, you're going to see it's complete opposite. All right, let's get this party started. We've got some sour, not sour, cream cheese. Cream cheese. We're about to do something I've never done here before. So I've already got some diced up onions in here. About two tablespoons. A little bit of cheese. We're gonna go with a little bit of cream cheese. And I'm gonna put the seasonings in here now, which is just a little bit of Lowry's. You don't have to do a bunch because there is bacon in this dish and it's salty. You want to mix it all up. How'd that stuff work at hunting camp? It worked great, man. Yeah. We had hogs, we had hogs and deer running up doing trying to save yeah. us. We were hunting with the 22 and we had an eight point <laughs> and another buck run up do us and run next to chase them off. For some reason when Jake starts talking to the camera, this country slang that I don't even know where it comes from comes out of his voice and it did eight pointer you want to watch a funny video go back a couple years ago type in blue don't go back a couple years just go on youtube and search back a couple years ago search blue gabe i got buck fever and it's his first buck video he did on his own he said what's up everybody this is blue jake we gonna go huh and video's got over a million views so you see what I did here? Just a little concoction. Now, we're gonna take one of these jalapenos real quick and we're gonna fill it up. You might think, well, this is just a normal jalapeno popper. No, it's not even close to a normal jalapeno popper. We're adding a big old giant wild shrimp that all of us actually, and Abram, I gotta give Abram credit. He was winging that cast net. Yeah. Throw after throw after throw. I guarantee you he threw it over a hundred times. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, he didn't catch as many as me, but you know. It was hot. I was going to play Terminator cast. Look here. Look here, folks. All this right here is one little, like, coffin of love. I don't think the shrimp knew he was going to end up in this type of coffin, but it's, it's what he's ending up in. So I'm going to do all of these, slap them on the grill, and then we're going to cook. Where did our tile fish go? Where did the tile fish go? It's wherever you put it. It's in the refrigerator. hundred bucks says it's in the refrigerator. Let me tell you a little bit more about Dr. Squatch soap. Now this isn't your typical soap. It's a scented soap, but it's all natural. It's made by the finest ingredients mother nature has to offer. And the cool thing about this to me is when I was growing up hunting, my dad used to actually cover our scent with pine tar and pine oil. This soap, now this is coconut. <sighs> Can you smell it? This is my favorite one for around the house. But the wood barrel bourbon and the pine tar one, when I'm hunting, you shower with this stuff right here and it will eliminate pretty much all of your scent. That's the coolest thing to me about it. They also have uh, pine tar, men's natural conditioner, shampoo, most importantly deodorant, and they've got all kinds of cool accessories, little wooden deal right here where you can set your soap on it. So now that you've seen all of these products, they also have toothpaste and some beard oil. And if you compare the ingredients in Dr. Squatch against some of the other big name brands, you'll see that Dr. Squatch is the way to go. But the coolest feature is right now, new customers can get 20% off orders of $20 or more. Use my code DSQGABE and click the link in the description below. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm sure right about now y'all are wondering what in the heck you're watching. Hey, y'all asked for more videos. We just felt like videoing today. We worked our butt off at hunting camp the last two days. I came home, took a nap, woke up hungry, said let's film a video. We always have leftover footage or extra footage of things that we filmed that we didn't use at all. Hey, I didn't even use a quarter of the shrimp and footage that you're about to watch. Let's take it back to Steena Hatchie. We're gonna go shrimping for a little bit and when we get back, we're gonna eat these awesome poppers and some tilefish and some rice and we're gonna tell some hunting stories. And I assure you, it's going to be fun. Oh, I see something. Oh. I've got some meat. Oh, that's a big shrimp. That's a big bait right there. It's not a lot of shrimp, but you get oh, two well, or three Well, no, bonkers. he said once we get in them, we'll find them. Oh, yeah. Get those big ones, Jake. Wait, what is this? A bunker. A bunker? Oh, so big. Come here, shrimps. Where do you want the shrimps? Bucket, basket? Jake, we got a bunker. Please let him go. Get him so nice belly. You get one? A long rope. Let it sink and pop it real slow. Look at that, he caught seven. Oh, look at this, Kelly, come here. I got a um, cuttlefish. Yeah, a cuttlefish. We are on the west coast of Florida catching the biggest shrimp I have ever seen in my life. This is our good friend Abram. We've yeah. got Jake. We've got Luke. Yeah. Show them what's in Abram's net. Look at these giants. Mm. Let's look at this thing. Fancy. That's a good eight inch shrimp right there. That's a cuttlefish. Cuttlefish. Oh, whoa. Pancakes. Look, show her what you have. Let me Luke. see this. <gasps> Can I look? Oh. So it's a cuttlefish, not a squid, right? Cuttlefish? cuttlefish? Yeah. Um, they might do okay in the live well. Look at these. Those are like 10 count. I, I would say that they're eight count, eight to a pound. Giants. That's impressive right there. Typically, when we're on the East Coast shrimping with nets, we want to get 20 or 30 a throw. But five of these equal 20 or 30 of those over there. Giants. And y'all know this, man. This is a bacon style dinner. Bacon and everything. We're a baconator like Wendy's right now. So, this is tile fish that I just put in there. If you don't know what a tile fish is, I'll show you a clip right now. It's actually a fish that lives in about 750 to 900 foot of water. It looks like a giant mud guppy. I've done several videos. They're a really, really cool fish. This one's heavy, whatever it is. What are y'all guessing? Big tile Big fish. Tile fish. Or the world record mutton. I don't know if we'll get a mutton out here in 750. I'm guessing two tile fish. No oh yeah, it could be. When it gets to about 24 feet, it's gonna stop. You gotta keep reeling, Jake. Don't stop until it gets up the rod tip. Which one tells you the feet? The top. Oh yeah, I'm looking at that. I thought that was like easy. That was easy. Good. 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 Get ready. Go ahead. Thanks. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a nice, um, that's a... All right, swing this over here. Oh, I thought that was a... Ooh, that's a honker. That's, yeah. Yeah, that might be the biggest one I've ever caught on this boat. I saw it. I thought it was a sailfish for a second. A sailfish? <laughs> or a marlin. Son. That's a good one right there, boys and girls. Go hold him up, Jake. 
Look at that. Pick him all the way up, head level. Son. Got us a good one. Oh, daddy, yo. Another two, three minutes. Jake's in the shower, washing up. Hopefully he's using some of that squash soap. We're gonna be at the dinner table soon. Let's see. Probably already need to flip this. Oh, right here. Wait. We're just rolling the clip, y'all. This is just a video of us at home doing what we do. Nothing that you see right now is something that we wouldn't be doing otherwise. This is just actually how crazy we are. Well, me and the boys at least, I don't know about Kelly. Yeah. She would probably be playing with Finley right now. We would still be acting a fool. Right here, I got that secret sauce. Shout out to PK from Rhoda. Some kimchi, some mayonnaise, some lemon zest right here. It's gonna be good. Abram just walked up in here and said it smells so good. He cooks too, y'all. 13 years old, he cooks full course meals for his family. All you kids out there should be cooking. Parents, let them destroy your kitchen because when they move out, if they know how to cook, your food bill will be so much cheaper than it would be otherwise. Especially if they hunt. Now, I don't know if it will be, uh, I shouldn't even say that because it's so much more expensive to hunt for your food than it is to go buy it at the store. I love it when I see people say they hunt for food. No, they ain't. We might hunt because we enjoy to eat the wild game, but it's not cheaper to hunt. It's actually way more expensive. Man, that's good right there. So the smaller piece is already done. I left the bigger piece on there for about two minutes. One cool thing about tile fish is it's a real flaky fish. You see how big that flake is that just fell off right there? It's just a unique fish in its own. I mean, it lives in big giant holes, like mud burrowing holes. That's why I always call it a mud gut because I think that's exactly what it is down there. It lives in the mud. All right, here's how this is about to go down. Can I get a little bit of our kimchi rota style sauce? Paint it on there just like so. We're gonna take a little bit of this lemon zest that I just shaved off. A little bit of bacon. I mean, you can't tell me that's not a lot of bit of spectacular. Now, if I was an executive chef at a nice restaurant, I'd be like, but here at Blue Gabe's house, we don't really particularly care what it, what it looks like right now, because you know it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, right here. While I'm shouting out companies, y'all see that hat? Florida Camo has teamed up with Danko and made a limited edition hat. There's only gonna be a couple of hundred of them for sale, so check out dankopliers.com. Go get you a hat. I've got one, so that means really there's only like 199 left. Try that right there, Abe's. Tarzan on Instagram. Is that good? Jake, you ready? Oh yeah. I haven't had top fish in a while. How about that kimchi and mayonnaise? Hey, go. Neither one of them were smart enough to take it off, like just put the fork in your mouth. It's good. I've been with these two in the woods for the last two days. These these two and my dad put a tree stand together yesterday. Oh my, that was bad. For four hours, my dad goes, this crap's made in China. It's all China and it's mm -hmm. terrible and it won't go to, they don't build stuff right anymore. It was all I was saying that about the matches. Yeah. <laughs> it said on the box, made in US. Kelly hasn't heard any stories from hunting camp this weekend, oh, but I can tell you. Everything is so overwhelming. My dad was cussing China for making a sorry tree stand. Poor Abram was just trying to figure it out. Jake was helping me. Like, it was crazy, but we do already have some good trail cam picks. Check out this, this is a nice, I hung this, the eight pointer you're looking at, I hung that feeder today and the bucks already walked by it. And then I made a special spot just for Luke. I put a ground blind. That's in, a good spot. Yeah, yeah. these two helped me That's brush in a grind, uh, ground blind. And then we hung a feeder and we've already had like four or five does, a nice little buck. I'm sure hogs will come. 
and that's Luke's spot because it's out of the rain. He doesn't have to climb up high. These two are getting kicked out of the nest. They're climbing their own tree stands this year and they're hunting on their own. What is the eel doing? It's getting under the sand. I do have a friend, Ryan Hathaway. He's a firefighter in Okeechobee. His phobia is eels. He can't look at a, bra a black rubber worm like or any color rubber worm. Really? He'll throw up. So often I send him pictures of that eel right there. Ryan Hathaway, we love you. And that's a beautiful eel right over there. Rice is hot. Ooh. You been in something hot? It was. Now rice is steaming. You cannot get a better jalapeno popper than that right there, folks. Big giant wild caught shrimp that we caught. You already saw what we put in it. That right there. Mmm. Kelly will tell you, I've been making these for a while. You make them at least once a week. I love them. <laughs> I will say though, the other night I ate them. We ate like five different things with cheese that night. Oh, my stomach was killing me. So now I'm only going to eat one thing with cheese tonight. Right up, come here. Come here. Come say hi to your fans. Come here. Come on. Hello. He piled up with Jake last night in hunting camp. This dog right here doesn't look like much, but he's seven years old. He's actually older. He's a little bit older than seven. He loves hunting camp. Last night when we were sitting there, it was like 12.30. We just got done thermal hunting. Hey, Redneck. The boys have went to bed, black, dark. I had the porch patio on. I wish I would have filmed just a clip for you to see. And I'm sure some of y'all have dogs that do this. I was in the middle of just putting stuff away and there's Redneck sitting out on the edge, right on the light in the darkness, just looking like, I got you, Dad. I won't let anything sneak up on you. There was no noises that he was like hearing that had caused his attention. Anytime we're at camp, he'll sit right on the edge of the light in the dark and just stare like he's got our backs. It's pretty cool with a dog. How was it, Jake? Good. I'm shrimp. Pretty good. Yeah, that didn't have, I had a couple extra shrimp, so we just, no sour cream, no nothing. But these poppers, do you like them? They're good. Oh my goodness. You can make this with shrimp that you buy at a store too you don't have to go catch them yourself anyway. look at kelly's plate though she's she likes just a piece of just just i just want to eat just it give me your opinion real quick before it gets uh, cold tilefish is probably one of the best fish ever i'm pretty impressed you're eating like jake right now turn that camera around tell everybody hello hello <laughs> <laughs> somebody left a comment in the video the other day when I held that little candy cane shrimp. So my last video, the conk video, at the beginning I'm, well, Kelly's spearing lobster and I pull out this little candy cane shrimp. Somebody said in my best Kelly Young voice, hello. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it. Just a random video of random stuff. We had some extra clips. We always love having Abram. He's got two little brothers and a sister and yeah. his two little brothers are super fans. Super fence. I wish I had a good clip of that when, when, uh, oh, Judah caught that snook. Judah, they said, Good job, Judah. And he goes, Just like Boo Game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here. Get the heck out of shape.